Hey guys, uh, just to preface this video, I recorded this about a week ago, uh, and this was clearly before Cecil got canceled by Dynamite, so uh, just take it in knowing that. Hey guys, Black Angus here. I'm on the road driving home from work. Figured I'd uh, record something that's been on my mind last couple of days thanks to uh, the great detective work, my brothers in the war campaign. Uh, shout out to Stu Moran uh, on Twitter. I, don't, I can't remember your handle, but uh, you're one of many who I've shared, uh, seen share this uh, picture of uh, a new campaign, the Be the Change Humble Bundle from... Uh, Dynamite company. Uh, so, where's this gonna go? Um, I love Comicsgate. It's a very simple set of uh, ideals for you know making maybe not quality comics necessarily. You know, it's all novices and whatnot, but we'll give them a handicap. Uh, they just want to make entertainment. It's not pushing an agenda uh, besides entertaining you and making money. Uh, not trying to guilt you or shame you because of your politics because uh, every facet of entertainment now is bought into uh, generally speaking is bought into leftism and uh, making everything about identity politics and uh, you know it's kind of Marxist idealism and whatnot and uh, they're getting more and more blatant uh, with it you know now it's crossed into real life you know I, I always said, you don't stop this shit in entertainment, it's going to spill into the real world, and now it has. Now you got statues being taken down and all sorts of radical ideas. Let's destroy monuments that have inspired people for over 100 years because they're white and they did bad stuff for our perspective. <laughs> well, now let's in Comics Gate, or now I should say Commies Gate. So there's this uh, dynamite initiative, the Humble Bundle pay a buck to 20 bucks to get, I guess, uh, I don't know if it's digital or actually mailed to you, um, but this money helps go to uh, various uh, funds, if you will, including the Bell Project, which is uh, working to bail out Black Lives Matter weirdos, <clears throat> a lot of Antifa people with uh, bad criminal history, and uh, <laughs> No one's talking about it. No one's talking about it. All these people, you see geeks and gamers, oh, oh no, they got a black woman for Batwoman. It's a super woke. Uh, oh no, Brie Larson on YouTube. Uh, you know, just some guy, I don't really follow him, but I, I watched his stuff about Preston and Comicsgate. Uh, he can talk about that and give that guy exposure, you know, probably contributed to his growth uh, for just some guys detractors and Comicsgate detractors. But uh, someone working with someone that is uh, not just promoting identity politics, but actually funding radical identity politics and anti-American shit. But comics are an American uh, medium, and you have these weirdos destroying everything fun about it. Um, you know, EVS is always in his history like, yeah, don't hire SJWs. This is like number one idea to a good business market companies. Don't hire SJWs. Get rid of your weirdo HR departments and, and, and whatnot. And he's in bed with these fucking people. And this goes all the way back, in my opinion. This, this makes you retroactively think about your boy Zach. Who I like, you know. Um... I like his content, he's gotten soft in my opinion, because uh, he's trying to, you know, appeal to everyone in a way with this company. I kind of get that, but you know, you've been such a firebrand, you got it. You kind of got to market, and it makes you think. Since Mark Wade is over at uh, Dynamite, uh, at least partially, at Gel Simone, you got all these SJWs over there, uh, and now they're contributing directly to this Antifa shit. Um, makes you wonder. Is this whole, you know, uh, fuck, was it tortious interference? Is this just some ploy, some 
fraudulent scheme where it's like, hey, let's just appeal to our sides, you know, you'll fight me, the Nazi, and I'll fight you and your liberal horde, and we'll pander to our respective sides, uh, you know, and their specific feelings about the issues, and we'll get war chests uh, and essentially surplus of money for nothing. You know, it, it looks orchestrated now that you got someone who brought this to my attention, being a Star Wars fan, I got into contact a lot larger because of EVS. And now it, it just puts everything in question. You know, on top of you, boy, Zach, he's pulling people like Sashi, who great fucking art. I, I totally get that aspect. But, um, you know, when you're really fighting SGWs and whatnot, like, it's kind of weird to play so, pay someone that's kind of against your whole... <laughs> Uh, customer base and uh, it's just very disappointing where comics gate is gone just like this uh, the politics and social interaction of this country as of late in the real world things that we don't want in escapism our escapism is directly funding now you know I'm sure there's videos of some of these uh, kind of crossover fandom and comics gate channels that are uh, you know Talking about Kaepernick getting a Disney deal, or at least saying it on Twitter, uh, calling Disney woke, crying about Beyonce with her blackest king, all this identity politics shit, and yet you're going to just turn a blind eye because your buddies are in bed with some company. You know, you say don't work with SGWs, fire them, but then uh, your shit's directly tied to them. It's it's disingenuous. You know, so it's, it just shows the character on top of, you know, the blocking all these people like myself that like, I, I don't, I don't really, I never really hit an EVS. Uh, a lot of stuff I was tagged in, I just kind of quiet about, um, not for lack of caring. It's just like, I, I just only got so much time, you know, <laughs> uh, it's just, it's really weird, you know? Um, and it kind of shows you how this is all just a, a fucking grift from a lot of these people. A lot of people aren't really in it. You know, as soon as they get some money. Uh, they'll shut the fuck up uh, so their enemies are buying them off or, you know, they never really cared in the first place. Um, so, yeah, you know, cry about war campaign. War campaign, my brothers in there that do all this research and stuff like, uh, they're always fucking right, you know. Look at the shit Gat's been smeared for for memes uh, that are essentially commentary and questions about people we've supported as a whole. And yet... Uh, this shit's going on, you know, um, EVS, you fun fucking Antifa, you help bell these fuckers out with your product, um, it kind of makes sense that you're, like, always kind of shifting the narrative, like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, let's not talk politics anymore, nah, I'm not gonna really talk about Trump anymore, stuff like, that's, that's been your appeal, is, like, unabashedly, being a con creator and saying what you feel about politics. And it kind of makes sense now that you've like, eschewed yourself.